Something's Brewing takes us to South Windsor. You have the best of both worlds right here, coffee and beer. And you can get both at Connecticut Valley Brewing Company and Birdhouse Coffee. And we're also going to talk about how they incorporate coffee into their beer. Janine Mesnel joining us now. She is the GM of the Tap Room. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I've been here many times. Yes. But we have two businesses in one now. Yes. So how did this coffee house come about? Because it's kind of part of the tap room in a right way. right so it's become kind of an extension of the tap room um, we initially were brewing beer outsourcing coffee from other places and um, kind of thought to ourselves why spend the money somewhere else when we can do it right here sure so we kind of came up with this concept birdhouse coffee and it's bringing the coffee and beer community together in one. And I know you roast in house. Yeah, we roast in house. We have our roasters right in back, right next to our tanks where we're brewing the beer, uh -huh. actually. So um, it's become just a big operation of just craft beer, craft coffee, and then also eventually, or now craft cocktail. So. And how did the theme come about, Birdhouse Coffee? So um, the owners are very much outdoors, outdoors people. Um, they love the outdoors. And it was kind of like the Birdhouse theme, a place where people can come, gather, um, as birds would do in a birdhouse. Yeah. So Ginny, and you've incorporated coffee in your beers. Uh, in past years. Yeah, yeah. So we typically you'll find like coffee stouts to be really popular. So we, you know, have incorporated our coffee into these stouts. Um, most notably right now we're coming out with our campers coffee stout. It should be out within the next week or two. Um, it's going to have notes of dark chocolate, a little bit of a hint of raspberry. Um, and the base of that is going to be our cold brew. So it's going to have a really strong coffee flavor that you would typically find in a, in a coffee stout. And you mentioned it's what, like five to six percent? Yeah, roughly five to six percent which is a traditional mm -hmm. a, uh, percentage for a stout so yeah we're right in you know getting ready for that winter weather and the you know cold weather beers coming Absolutely. out so we're excited for that yeah and then so beyond that um, I know you're waiting on that but you'll have some more coming out um, yeah as so these <laughs> days get colder <laughs> right right so yeah as it, get, as it gets colder outside we're warming you up inside with our our stout lineup and it's going to be you know a peanut butter stout a maple spice stout so we're really getting into that cold weather changing up the flavor profiles offering more of a variety for our guests and, and maybe some peanut butter in there too yes a peanut butter stout <laughs> and then maybe adding the coffee in that yeah, so kinda. stay tuned because we got a lot coming up i am smiling under this mask <laughs> This is my stout season's my season. Yes. <laughs> With so many others, right? Yeah. Are you finding a lot of people are coming in and wanting the stouts now that we've entered the fall season? Yep, absolutely. As the weather changes outside, the beer flavor changes inside. So definitely we're getting into more of that darker beer profile, stouts, porters, you know, black IPAs, stuff like that. So let's talk about Birdhouse Coffee's After Hours. Yes, so it's kind of an extension of the brewery for um, late night. Uh, we just came up with a coffee-inspired cocktail program to offer something a little bit different um, for the non-beer drinkers and also extend you know, our seating inside. Right, because I know coffee's popular during the day and then the beer at night, but we're right, right. sticking around yep, we are. <laughs> all night. Yep. Bring the party here. All right, well, thanks for having us. This was fun. It was Absolutely. nice to be back. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. All right. Cheers, Cheers guys. Something's grown at Birdhouse Coffee and Woo. Connecticut Valley Brewing Company. Yay. Yay. <laughs> See y'all soon.